Hey everyone, it's Michael here from goodyreader.com and I am the undisputed king of e-readers. And today I'm bringing you with another new release from Pocketbook. They are going to be releasing sometime in late May, uh, the Inkpad Color 2. This model is similar to the Inkpad Color 1. It's using the second generation e-ink Kaleido 2 or Kaleido Plus Color e-paper. So you'll get around 100 PPI for color and it's a suppose seven, eight inch device. So you will get enough reading room for it. So you'll have 300 PPI for black and white. So fonts when reading eBooks and looking at PDF files will be razor sharp. Although this is a dedicated e-reader. So it doesn't really have any note taking functionality, no stylus or anything like that. It's mainly used to read, whether it's eBooks, PDF file, comic books, etc. So Pocketbook has a store that you can buy a lot of eBooks from, but the real power is sideloading digital content. Man, it supports like almost like every major format out there. So like FB2, Mobi, AZW3. It supports the major manga formats, CBR and CBZ. And it also supports paid books. So if you buy EPUB or PDF books from other stores, you can sideload them on the Pocketbook using Adobe Digital Editions. So that's very handy. Pocketbook is very flexible and agnostic in the approach that doesn't really lock you into a specific ecosystem. Kind of says like, listen, we'll provide you with powerful hardware that will be able to access your existing book collection. And if you don't really have like a book collection, Pocketbook Store is probably for you. But Pocketbook's real power is the manual page turn buttons. So on this model, they're positioned on the bottom as opposed to like the sides. So the bezels on the sides top are very slim. Everything's like on the bottom. So you can either turn pages like with your hands, fingers, taps, etc., or you could just press down on the buttons, whatever floats your boat. It also is IPX8, so it could be immersed in fresh water for up to 60 minutes. Basically, you could use it easily at the beach, uh, in the bathtub, anywhere where there's like water involved. It just don't put it in salt water or just like wash it off like immediately. A quad core processor, one gig of RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage, USB-C, a G sensor to automatically flip it from landscape to portrait mode, and a respectable 29 milliamp battery. It is running Linux, so it's rock solid, stable. Pocketbook has always run Linux on their devices. So how is this going to be for color? Well, we were kind of impressed with the first generation Inkback color and actually sold a boatload of them. But with Kaleido 3 now on the scene, an upcoming Onyx Book Tab Ultra C, how will this compare against that? Well, we will be shooting comparison videos to give you a sense of what that brings to the table. But Pocketbook is pretty well going to be giving you a month of just battery life because of just like the Linux operating system, whereas Android driven e-readers, they need huge batteries because of background processes. Apps drain the battery a lot more than just like reading and something like that. So the Pocketbook Inkpad Color 2 is good for audio enthusiasts. It supports, you know, uh, audio books in terms of like MP3, OGG, MP4A, um, all the major formats doesn't support FLAC, unfortunately, but I do think for $319, it's not going to break the bank. It's available for pre-order on our store at goodyreaderstore.com or on our main site at goodyreader.com and just click on the store link and it's going to be shipping in the second week of May. What do you guys think about the pocketbook? It's not getting a lot of buzz right now but i think once it comes out and people start getting their hands-on reviews of it that perspective may change but i think the the main differences with this is that uh, from the first generation it's using updated specs 
it has a, a better version of like Wi-Fi and things like that. So it does have a few advantages, but not enough to really upgrade from the first generation if you already have that in your possession. What do you guys think about my perspective? Drop a comment below. Forget to read it My name is Michael, and everybody take care. Thank you.